All right, welcome to Night Hacking Interviews at the Cloud World Developer Mumbai Conference. My name is Stephen Chen. I'm the Java Community Manager, and I'm joined by Saitendra Kumar. Yes. Who's the president of the AI OUG. Yes. So you Thanks, too. Yeah, thank you very much for joining me. So you were at the um, keynote giving um, a, a panel discussion about a bunch of um, Oracle Cloud topics. Yes. Um, and I think one interesting question is how the adoption of cloud services is going. So what's your, what's your perspective as a um, kind of a, a, a looking at across the industry? Okay. But one thing I wanted to say is when you say Oracle Cloud or any other cloud as such, Amazon has started 10 years back with Microsoft starting it and then Oracle's focus more on the software as a service. That's where the, the key important or key uh, uh, takeaway from Oracle offerings is more on the SaaS side. And then the PaaS, the platform as a service, where the Java, the database. And with the launch of IAS, infrastructure as a service, yeah. now it's a complete 360 degrees of cloud offerings what Oracle has right now. And then the only thing is earlier it was more on SaaS offerings only. So what the customers wanted to have any of the applications on the cloud, they can go with them. But with the SaaS, PaaS, and IAS, the data centers can be migrated to the Oracle Cloud. So that's a beautiful thing where now it's like all gamut of services available with all these three offerings. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with SaaS, you're just talking about specific Oracle applications. You Correct. can migrate, but now it's a full solution. Full solution. Because when you talk about the enterprises looking to migrate to any of the clouds, the first thing they look at is like, it's not only the Oracle applications they might be running. They'll be running non-Oracle, custom development, a lot yep. many other things. So with the inclusion of IAS, that gives an advantage to the customer, saying that I can do anything now. Combination of IAS, PaaS, and SaaS. So do you think this is gonna have a dramatic impact on the adoption of cloud services? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, it will increase. And then that many people who are running Oracle applications, but don't want to convert their EBS onto the cloud, because yeah. that's a SaaS offering, you can't club those. And a lot many customizations. They're looking for IAS as a service, and that's Got where it. it is there. Okay, so um, are there any indicators you see in the market about adoption of cloud services? What, do you, what data points do you have as a, a user group leader? Okay, uh, the data points for adoption of cloud services is people now, they wanted to do more with less. Yeah. And they're fed up of maintaining workforces, data centers, every three years of hardware refresh. Mm -hmm. So they need a peace of mind. Plus, what is happening is, with the regulatory issues, the disaster recovery has become a mandatory for any organization, small or large or whatever, yeah. across the globe. And having and maintaining a disaster recovery outside your data center is a big pain. Yeah, so, yeah. so having disaster recovery and a tier four data center yes. and having geographic All those diversity, things are moving those directions things. to the yeah. cloud. So people are happy. So smaller organizations can yeah. have large organization infrastructure. Yes. Okay, now that makes sense. And you're seeing that happen within the, the Oracle, all, or, all India Oracle user group from the custom, the member bit, ship base. <laughs> okay, the all India Oracle users group is yes, because the thing is more we cater to the technology guys. Yeah, yeah. So they come, they wanted to learn what's an Oracle offering on that. How as a DBA or as a developer on-premise maintaining the stuff wanted to move to the cloud. So there is like a lot of adoption and this year we are focusing the cloud days as part of our series of uh, uh, events we conduct in multiple cities across India. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year we're getting the OTN Yatra. OTN Yatra is our uh, every year's uh, program where we call the ACE directors from across the globe. And within two weeks, we conduct the seven cities or six cities we cover within wow. two weeks of span. And then really the ACE directors travel a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so this year we're starting in April covering um, Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune, Mumbai, and end at the Delhi. And we have included many tracks for cloud and big data where we see a lot of uh, interest generated among the technology guys yeah, to know yeah. what so exactly, the, uh, the where their careers are interested as well as and you're putting a lot more of the content into your Absolutely. programs. Absolutely. Okay, that's pretty cool. What other, what other conferences do you run? So our major conference is called Sangam Conference. Yeah. So what we do is, in India we have two user groups. One is the All India Oracle Users Group, 
which is a technology user group, and we have something called the India OAUG, the Oracle Applications User Group. So both together form a conference called Sangam. Mm -hmm. And Sangam is nothing but like a collaborate what OAUG and uh, the IOUG does it. Yeah. So we both together does a major conference once in a year in November. And last year at Hyderabad, uh, we did the now, uh, Sangam 15. First time we touched 800 plus uh, yeah, people attended excellent. with 32 cities across the globe. Okay, that's so a well, very one. diverse membership coming yes, as well, yes. so it wasn't just local people. Yes, the speakers, and we get from Singapore, participants from Singapore, other, uh, almost like seven countries, people attend that conference. Okay, so it's like, um, it, it's like collaborate, but for Asia. <laughs> I can say, <laughs> okay. <laughs> very good, um, and the last thing we wanted to chat a little bit about, I mean, we were talking only, mostly about public cloud infrastructure, but I think also you, Wanted to chat about it, moving behind the firewall. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there are some companies where the regulatory issues force them not to move to the cloud. Yeah. So they can't m go to the public clouds, but they want to enjoy the same benefits what cloud provides. So the, the recent announcement from Oracle on the Oracle Cloud Machine is a fantastic um, offering for those big companies like banking sector, finance. So what they, what they can do is, behind their firewall, have all those offerings of PaaS, SaaS, and infrastructure as a service within their firewall using the cloud mm -hmm. machine. And I don't know yet, I can't confirm it, but that's what I heard Thomas was talking about, where there will not be any machine cost. They will be pricing it like an Oracle cloud, public cloud. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you use uh, the Oracle Pass, you paper go kind of concept. So that's, that will definitely drive. And one more thing is the standardization. Tomorrow, the same organization wants to go to the public cloud. They can start their cloud practice or the cloud uh, migration with the same standards because the cloud machine runs the same stack which was running in Oracle Public Cloud on the cloud machine. And yeah, so you don't have to worry same. about the deployment. Absolutely. It's just whether the standardization, you everything makes public sense. Public or whether you have specific requirements that force you to do it in-house. Yes. Okay, that's excellent. So thanks very much for taking the time thanks out of your you. schedule to do a short interview here at Cloud World Developer Mumbai. Thank you. Um, we have other interviews available at the Night Hacking website. So this is being live streamed, streamed at nighthacking.com. And um, thank you again. Thanks. Thanks, Tim. Nice.